Is it possible to calculate which day of the week we are currently on, or which day of the week a particular date value belongs to? Well, if we take our employees file, we can look at doing that with the day of birth. If we want to calculate which day of the week our people were born on, then we can do that. Let's insert column and call it weekday born. Now there is a function called weekday that will do some of the work for us. So it's equals weekday open brackets, the number that we want to use to calculate the weekday, which is currently their date of birth. There is an optional parameter there, return type, but for the moment we'll leave that out and we'll just press return. And that gives me a three for August 2nd, 1966. If I replicate, then I see that I get some value between one and seven. So those are the days of the week. However, seeing a three or a four or a five or a six doesn't really help me. I'd like to see the actual day of the week. Well, in order to do that, we need to play a little bit cleverer and have ourselves a lookup table. It goes from 1 to 7 and returns the correct day of the week. So Monday through to Sunday. So let's save this as a named list. So highlight the area, click into the name box and call it days. And then here, instead of doing weekday, well, we do do weekday, but instead of just doing weekday, we're going to look up the result of the weekday function. So equals the lookup weekday of our date of birth we're going to look up in our days little table and we're going to bring back the second column and it's got to be an exact match and then we find that august 2nd was a wednesday and then we replicate and each of those are then looked up however i know that august 2nd wasn't a wednesday it was a tuesday so something's a little bit adrift here. And what's adrift is the weekday function. Our little optional parameter in there, the return type, actually tells it, if I go comma, when to start counting the days from. So you can see there that if I put a one, it counts the days as Sunday being number one through to Saturday being seven. If I put a two, it counts the Monday as being number one through to Sunday being the seven. Well, that's the option we actually want for these. And then there are other options. Number three, where the numbers go from zero to six. Eleven, where they go from one through to seven, Monday to Sunday. Twelve goes from Tuesday to Monday. Thirteen goes from Wednesday to Tuesday. Fourteen goes from Thursday to Wednesday. So you can see the pattern there all the way to the bottom where 17 goes from Sunday through to Saturday. My list, because I stated in my lookup table that one is Monday, I need the weekday to produce one for Monday. So that's the option two. Or I could have left it as the default, which is the start on Sunday, and numbered my lookup table correctly. Now when I press return, I see that I am given a Tuesday. And I can then replicate that formula. And each of these people will now be displaying their correct day of the week that they were born on. Now in order to do that, we need two functions. The weekday function to return the day of the week as a numerical value. Be careful using the numbers here in the return type to decide which day of the week you're going to count as one. You then need to create a little lookup table, as we did here, where our days of the week are listed with the correct ID number on the left of them. And then we can do a lookup. So our lookup is taking the weekday of the person's date of birth, going to our little lookup table, and returning the correct day of the week that we would wish to see there. So it's not as straightforward as some functions are in Excel, it's two functions. The weekday function to give you a serial number and then a lookup to change that serial number into the actual day of the week.